Hi, and welcome to the Beer Temple. I am Chris Quinn, and I am joined briefly by my lovely wife, Margaret Quinn. Hi, everyone. And making her on-camera debut, Katie Quinn. Yeah. Say hi, Katie. This is little Catherine Elizabeth Quinn. She arrived on May 11th of this year, and she is a new little peanut in the Beer Temple. So uh, if you stop by and you see a, a baby sitting behind the counter that's that's katie you can say hello to her and ask her what the what the cost is of some of the bottles we have she may not answer you well, she she's most interested in a particular bottle <laughs> yeah it's true mm -hmm. um so we just wanted to introduce her and and say hello yeah in her first month of life she has already been we figured in several different liquor stores a brewery and a bar yes so she's she's off to uh, a good start. she's taken off the, the the beer destinations pretty quickly, and this also explains why I haven't been on the podcast for a good solid nine months or so, ten mm -hmm. months. Mm -hmm. So cheers, everyone. This is uh, Katie. And yeah. Oh, you. and she's also become close personal friends with Jean Van Wa in yes, her first. Yes, that is life. true. She's yeah. she's accomplished. Yeah. So I'm gonna put her down and uh, yeah. Here we go. All right. See ya. Anyway. Um, so I was out uh, in New England for uh, the Shelton Brothers 12% Festival. Had a wonderful time. I'll talk a little bit more about that afterwards. Uh, I just wanted to kind of put out a quick show today um, featuring this beer here because afterwards uh, I left Maine and I went to Greensboro, Vermont. And of course, toll-free number, spammer. Um, went to Greensboro, Vermont, which is where Hill Farmstead Brewery is, and got to uh, stop by there and hang out for a little while, talk to those guys, really nice guys there. Really small, um, just kind of a family operation in a way. And uh, got to bring back uh, some beers. Um, so Hill Farm, I'll probably even talk about a little bit more in a different show uh, upcoming. Um, it's in the middle of a very, very rural area up kind of close to the Canadian border, I think, because my cell was trying to pick up Canadian Signal and charge me a whole bunch of money for it. Um, and it's just kind of a family estate. I've talked a little bit about that in the past. And it's basically uh, Sean and he built a brewery right next to his house and his brother's right there and I saw his father and kind of really just, just good folks. So anyway, um, one of the things that they do, and it's kind of cool, the, the, the road that, it's, that the brewery is on is called Hill Road, which I think is either short for or used to be called Ed Hill Road. Uh, Ed Hill is his grandfather and the namesake for the IPA Edward and in fact all of his he's got an ancestral series of beers named after people of his family members of his grandfather's generation and this is one of them this is Susan an IPA very highly regarded IPA from uh, Hill Farm uh, I got this filled yesterday um, right about 24 hours ago so it should be nice and fresh uh, Susan is an American IPA it uses well, I think the hops bill can change a little bit from time to time. I know this one has a New Zealand hop called Motueka in it, uh, also some Simcoe and some other stuff. A proprietary blend, I was told. So anyway, uh, I can already smell it jumping out of the growler, so why don't we uh, just get into it. Uh, really nice golden yellow, touch of orange, a little bit hazy. Sometimes you'll get that. Well, one, it's an unfiltered beer. Two, if you have a ton of hops, a super hopped up beer, you, know, you can actually get what they call a hop haze. The carbonation is wonderful. I mean, even just a little pour, I've got a nice thick fluffy head of foam here. Hops absolutely jumping out of you get a little bit of passion fruit um, a little bit of like a piney almost citrus but like a limey citrus note <sighs> yeah like a papaya or nectar like some sort of like fruit nectar really aren't getting much of the malt it's basically i think just a, a very basic malt bill but massive <laughs> this is a massively dry hopped and light hop edition beer uh, jumps out at you with those tropical notes. 
So it's first mainly the tropical, like I'm saying like tropical nectar, then you're getting some of the pine underlying it, and then, you know, I think there's some kind of lime accents as well. So certainly a drier style IPA, um, quite good. One of those beers that are so hoppy, you can actually feel like the hops like on your teeth sometimes. Um, very clean, very clean beer. There is just a hint of malt sweetness, just enough there to balance out the bitterness. It is a solidly bitter beer, but it's a very nice, subtle bitterness. Uh, it's not any of that kind of aspirin -y or kind of dagger on the tongue, as I sometimes say, bitterness. Um, really quite drinkable. Would go very well with food. I mean, I don't know, for some reason I'm thinking maybe like a nice like herb roasted chicken with something like this. really just something I think you could hang out and drink a full glass of. I think it's around six, six and a half percent, something like that. Really solid beer. Um, man, I love there's like a honeyed orange jam or something uh, going on in the background in the aftertaste. Uh, really nice stuff. I just like that it's clean and all about the hops. It's super solid. It really is. Um, I'll go 94 uh, with this beer. Really, really great IPA. Uh, this is Susan, the IPA from Hill Farmstead. Uh, uh, I'll say I have some great beer to drink, and hopefully you will too. If you are in the area today, you will, because I will have this open at the store. And uh, come on by, try some Hill Farm. If you can't make it, hey, please keep shooting me um, emails and comments. Thank you all so much for the iTunes reviews. Haven't really uh, done you guys credit in a while, so I promise I'll be getting to that. My apologies. Um, but that's it, guys. Just want to do a real quick one. Uh, I figured this beer is best drunk, incredibly fresh, so now would be the time to do it. Uh, I'll put up some pictures, if I haven't already, during this show of uh, what Hill Farm looked like. It was really kind of cool. And uh, that's about it. Thanks, guys, so much. Until next time, I've got some great beer to drink, and hopefully you do too.